Oh yeah, that's my MTV Elite box. This is a brand new subscription from Mystery Tackle Box for this month. I will say that the US mail system just sucks. I've been looking for this thing for days and they rerouted it somewhere, I have no idea. And then when I came, it was sitting like this in my mailbox. That's always good. Unfortunately, there is a bait missing in here. The good people over at Mystery Tackle Box have already reached out and said they'd send me that no charge, which that's because they're awesome. I wanted to bust into here and just kind of show you what the MTV Elite Box is all about. You can see I've been a Pro Box member for quite some time. We were offered the opportunity to, to join this Elite Box for a little bit more money, and I said, why not? So the idea and the premise is going to have higher scale, higher level baits, more expensive baits. Why not? <laughs> you know, the idea here is that we've got some really cool stuff, more JDM stuff, which is a little bit more expensive, but something I want to add to these tackle boxes back here, some more JDM items. So first thing I get, Double Digest some tips and tricks and then it's got on here a little summary of the bites the first bait we're gonna get here and this one was the first one i saw and i was like oh god that looks good this doesn't that look good um this is a biovex joint a gill and honestly this thing looks like it's like a 30 dollars swim bait um, they're retailing. This is only $15.30, which was surprisingly cheap. So it's a hard jointed swim bait. Let's actually pull this thing out here. I want to see this thing. Oh yeah. Look at that. So heading into the spawn, one of those things that pisses the hell out of bass are bluegill. Bluegill will eat, will eat the little fry on the bass's bed. Throwing some of these around some bedding fish is a guaranteed way to piss some fish off and get them to bite. Got a nice little wiggle action there. It's not too heavy, so I can actually probably throw this on one of my like heavy rods, like a, a jig rod or one of my, my frogging rods or so. Some serious hooks. These are some beefy hooks. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a nice bait. This is why I actually wanted to get into this elite box, is I was hoping I can get some, some bigger baits like this. This is something you would not typically get in any other box. So, nice, nice first bait here. Bait number two is the one that got lost. It retails for $9.99. It's the Booyah Prank. I actually have one of these. I got one of these last year and I caught, oh, caught a little rock bass, I think, out in some creek on it. It's basically a little Booyah popper, but it has a lip on it. So it can be used as a little wake bait. It's, it's pretty nice. You can pause it, jerk, get that little popping action, and then wake it forward a little bit. And that's actually what I was doing when this little rock bass exploded on it. So nice little bait. Uh, perfect for creeks, which I'll be throwing in you know, a ton later this year as soon as the weather warms up. So that's bait number two. Bait number two. Bait number three, I dropped on the floor. Mega bass. Okay, anything mega bass, you know is expensive. These are the mega bass bottle shrimp. I think I actually have maybe a pack of these that I picked up from my Lee's Global Tackle locally. They are a very, very small looking bait. I don't know if you can see that. So it's three inches. So I mean it's pretty small. I mean this would be good on a, like a finesse jig or something or maybe a tiny little shaky head. I could actually throw this too. I think on a drop shot. I actually think that's why I bought them originally. Green pumpkin blue is the color which that's like a perfect perfect color. These retail for $7.99. So mega bass expensive as always. I mean these are a dollar a piece. Okay, this is a bait a lot of people know. Another JDM bait. Jackal, flick shake. Again, kind of like a stick bait. Maybe a little bit like a Senko. These are a little bit longer though. These are almost the seven inch long ones. This is in camouflage, the color. It's kind of like a light. I don't know if you can hear that. Some running water going out. So it's kind of like a light. Gosh, I don't even know what color it would be. It's almost got like a little light amber, red, and yellow flake in there. Retails for $5.49. These are baits you can get in a lot of different places, and I have a few things with flick shakes. These are really nice. These work really good on a uh, shaky head. There's a lot more action in the tail than like a Senko, and they're a little bit longer. Or Wacky Rig. This is a great bait, Wacky Rig. It's a little big, but you might you might get some bigger fish. Wacky Rig and something like this. So, 549, that's bait number three. Uh, bait number four, Bagley Little Prop Bait. This is an interesting one. Come on, focus there. There we kind of go. 
Bagley Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. Retails for $12.99. I think of Bagley and I think of crankbaits, or balsa crankbaits. So I'm guessing it's a top water. So I've caught some actually some huge fish, especially when I was a lot younger on prop baits, like an old devil horse, something like that. This is a nice little bait. I have nothing like this in my tackle box because it's basically the shape of a crankbait, but with two props. I, again, I assume this floats. If this stinks, this is more like a spy bait. It's like a fatter spy bait. So again, I have nothing like this in my tackle box. This is why I subscribe to MTV because I can get baits that I've never even seen this before. So very cool bait. Well, 12.49, you guys will see in the coming video, a lipless crankbait has been hot for me, really, really hot. And so I've got this little Yozuri lipless crankbait here. This is the Vibes. It's a little bit heavier, um, $9.99, so this is a nice bait. I mean, I love lipless crankbaits. I have a huge tackle box of all different colors, sizes, weights, everything, because lipless crankbaits, especially this time of year, work phenomenally. Last bait, again, another bait I've never seen. So I know Biospawn Exo Stick. It's got the ridges, it's kind of like a Senko. This is the Exo Swim for $5.99. Swim baits. And they have they have little ridges on them, kind of like that Exo Stick. I see no reason why these things won't catch fish. Pair this up with a chatter bait or throw this on a swim bait hook. This will be a really, really good solid addition to my swim bait arsenal. Four inches is a perfect size to throw on something with, you know, like a chatterbait where that hook's gonna come about halfway down and you've got about an inch or two extra hanging off the back. Gives enough plastic for a good wiggle, but it's not too much where a fish wipes it and it's constantly missing the hook. So four inches is a good length. Well, let's compare them to the Kytex. That's probably the closest looking bait to this would be the Kytex. So guys, that's about it. Let me do some quick math for you. Okay, this is $69.80 worth of baits, if I did the math right. $70 worth of baits, and I'm pretty sure this box, it's sad that I don't know this, but I'm pretty sure this box cost me 40 bucks a month. I was paying $25 for these pro boxes. For $15 more, I got $70 worth of lures right here to add to my arsenal, my ever, ever growing arsenal of baits. So, guys, this is why I think you guys should use Mystery Tackle Box, because they're constantly thinking outside the box. This thing, well, not really outside the box because they're inside a box. But this is why I think you should use them because they are constantly innovating, creating different things that we're going to want. And hopefully this video gives you an idea of what kind of baits you can expect in the Elite Box. You know, in the coming weeks, month or so, we're going to go out and we're going to throw some of these baits out there and see what we can catch. You know, we're not going to throw on MTV Slam today. It's just way too cold. The likelihood of me catching two fish on any bait is slim so to try to catch like six fish on all the different various types of baits here in illinois right now is is slim so like i do all winter long i take boxes like these and these elite boxes i take all the lures i put them in a bag and then when the weather starts turning i have this huge bag of brand new lures to try out and super excited about that so there's an elephant upstairs in my house again just building up that arsenal. So guys, go check out Mystery Tackle Box. I'll leave a link for them below if you haven't heard of them. I don't know where you've been living underneath a rock, but if you guys use the code MTB10, you'll get $10 off your first box. So go check them out, guys. I guarantee that you will like it. And if you don't, I I'm not sure how to please you. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a really quick little video, just going through that Mystery Tackle Box, but um, I hope you guys like it. And if you like these kind of videos where I'm going through unboxing, if you want to see you know, me showing you what I bought at Bass Pro Shops, let me know. I'm happy to do videos like that. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is Windy City Bassin. I went to do a punch there, and it was, it was a little bit early there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Windy City Bassin. Signing. Oh.